Hey everyone, welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. This weekend I drove down to Exton, which is one of the wealthier counties in Pennsylvania. While there, I decided to visit the Exton Mall. The mall opens to the public to walk through on a daily basis. It is a nice mall to walk around to exercise and it has a few de decent places to grab a bite to eat despite some recent closings. But as you follow me around the mall, I would like for you to count how many stores are missing signs above the doors. These are the businesses that have closed or moved out of the mall over the past couple of years. Again, this is a wealthy area. Why does that matter? Because those with money are not spending it, except on the necessities. So you have those with little money that can't afford to spend, then you have the wealthy that knows better than to spend. What does that leave you? An empty mall like this. This is the second time I've visited this mall in 2023. Both times it was empty, except for those working and a couple shoppers and a handful of people walking around like myself. I would venture to say that there were more people walking around the mall for exercise than there were shoppers. I expect for more of these storefronts to vacate this mall or to just simply go out of business. What's really messed up is the one or two stores in the back that are still open for business, but that are surrounded by so many vacancies. If I were them, I would want to re relocate my storefront closer to the food court where there is more foot, foot traffic. So are you counting the storefronts that are vacant as I am walking around this mall? As you can see, stores are closing everywhere, whether it be poor neighborhoods or wealthy neighborhoods, basically showing you the sign of times. As much as I want to be optimistic about the future, I think it is highly irresponsible to sit back and do nothing to prepare for the difficult times ahead of us. By the end of 2021, it was hard to relate to people who could not see the dreadful direction the country was heading. But it should be quite obvious now to the majority of people that things are getting worse and will continue to get worse. And I hope no one is depending on more stimulus checks. I, I think those days are over. The people who will suffer the most will be those who did nothing to prepare. Something as simple as starting a garden to feed you and your family or collaborating with family members and friends to grow food in their gardens if you don't have one. I don't even know what to say about debt. Ideally, you would be reducing your debt, working hard to get out of debt, but there are so many people increasing their debt because many are already struggling to deal with inflation, thus putting, um, increasing their credit card debt to purchase items like food, necessities. You don't have to be rich to feed and provide for your family. The one difference between us today and those who lived in the 30s and earlier is work ethic, self-sufficiency, survival skill sets, and various trades. Back then, people had gardens and chickens, even in the cities. Having a good work ethic was more common than not, especially when compared to today. There was less dependency on the system because families were much more tight-knit back then. More people knew how to hunt, fish, trap, fell trees, start fires, cook on open fires, and cook from scratch. People knew how to repair things, build structures and houses. 
there are so many people on this platform trying to bring to light what is actually happening in their areas and in this country versus what is being portrayed on news networks. I hope it's enough to get more people to take action. Get those gardens started. Learn to can and preserve food you grow. Start a long-term food pantry if you have the means to do so. Watch my video on how to start a long-term food pantry on a budget to get you started. I hope this video was helpful and useful. Please like this video and consider subscribing to help this small channel to grow.